determine how it's how this slipped through? Uh, we're still uh, looking into that. The question is for both of you. Who would you like to see fill the AD position? <laughs> Lorraine Davis. That is an excellent suggestion. You heard it here first. Um, we've got a, uh, a search firm helping us with that. Um, these are really tough jobs, really tough jobs. And they're changing at a rate that's pretty astonishing because of the nature of, of Division I sports. Uh, we'll do our very best to get somebody worthy of succeeding Mike Bellotti. Richard, I haven't heard the word severance used. That traditionally went to a person who was fired or released from a position. Uh, thinking in those terms, would not, uh, since Mike was not fired, would not it have been a logical and acceptable going away gift, $100,000 instead of $2.3 million? Well, this was a mutually agreed upon resignation. And I asked Mike to take this ESPN job now. Uh, I did so because we were going to have to make a change, in my view, in the athletics directorship position. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that, in my view, is perfectly suited for, for Mike Bellotti. My guess is he's going, to, he's going to be a rock star at this job. And I felt an obligation to make clear to Mike what the future held for this AD position so that he could make his decision with regard to ESPN in light of that. Once we came to this mutually agreed upon position, then it became necessary for me to make sure that the university fulfilled its obligations to Mike Bellotti. And that's where the $2.3 million came in. There's been different numbers reported for how much um, Mike was to be paid this, this year before the, the severance package, from anywhere from 600 to 975 plus configurations. How much will he be? Um, my understanding is is that there was a six hundred and seventy-five thousand uh, dollar salary associated with the uh, with the athletic director's position. That there was a three hundred thousand dollar commitment on top of that, uh, which has been paid to Mike, and that in addition to that. And, and that was a one-time, uh, essentially a one-time commitment. And in addition to that, there was other money promised to him that would be the difference between his coaching salary and his compensation as athletic director. We have time for about one or two more questions. The university's general counsel acknowledges she previously asked for a written agreement and there wasn't one. Should she have acted more aggressively or earlier uh, to raise this issue and come um, up with some kind of agreement or find out why there wasn't an agreement? Well, I'm not sure what what statement you're referring to. Um, I think uh, in, in the letter that she submitted, she states, quote, I have previously made a request, but have not received anything in regards to uh, term sheet or other memorialization of the terms of Bilotti's agreement. Yes. Um, I think she's referring to, to documents around those, those uh, conversations that Mike had uh, at the time he took the job. I don't know what transpired at that time. I wasn't here. Uh, so I can't really comment on it. I can tell you that it is this university's business to practice good business, and it will do so. Richard, there was a public records request made in June of last year, November of last year, and again in January of this year requesting Coach Pilates' contract. No response came from the university to any of those requests. Do you consider that adequate? response? No. How will you make that any different? That, by the way, is not uncommon. Pardon me? That's not an uncommon <coughs> Right. Um, as a result of, of uh, our discoveries in this, uh, we are going to change a lot of the university's practices. Um, at this point, I can't tell you exactly what the response will be to any individual request, but I can tell you that we will be res as responsive, open, and transparent as we possibly can be. There's our last question there in the corner. Um, what would you 
would you say to those who are wondering about the disproportionate allocation of funds to, to athletics when there are certain academic departments claiming budgetary um, constraints? That's a very good question. Um, these are funds that have been donated by individuals to the athletics department. We cannot use them for anything other than athletics. Thank you very much. Everybody. Thank you.